I never thought I would ever upload a video about this. On December 28th, 2017, a channel called The Alpha J Show made a video called Cartoon Network's Biggest Problem of 2017. In my opinion, it was a good video with well-constructed criticism, although it seems that not everyone felt the same way. Some people disliked the video for the mere fact that it addressed issues that were brought up many times in the cartoon community during 2017, and as a result, they completely undervalued his entire points. Which also reminded me of the rapid distaste for bandwagons that I've been seeing lately. Now, I've never been the biggest defender of bandwagons myself. In fact, I've criticized people for jumping on bandwagons and not trying to offer original topics. And I get the feeling that if my channel ever grew rapidly and I'd never made this video, I wouldn't be surprised if some people had the impression that I hate bandwagons. And to be fair, if someone had asked me around 5 months ago if I actually hated it, I would naively answer yes. And it's not that I think that hating bandwagons is naive. It's more that that's not exactly how I feel. Here are my real stances on hopping on the nearest trend. It's not at all a bad thing. Offering your opinion that's similar to others or joining a trend is not something that's inherently wrong. The only way that it could be wrong, at least from a moral viewpoint, is if you are actually lying to cater to the most popular opinion, which even then, it's not something that necessarily hurts the quality of your project. As for whether or not what you're saying is stupid depends on how you articulate. If you're capable of formulating good arguments for why you feel a certain way, even if they're not honest to your true feelings, and also presenting them in a good manner, then there's nothing really wrong with your opinion presented. Unless someone actually knows your true feelings or what you're saying contradicts with certain things you said in the past. I guess there's also the case of intellectual dishonesty, but I'm trying to judge the quality of the opinionated video or post from the perspective of a viewer without any noteworthy evidence that your opinions are false. Where bandwagons start to really piss me off personally is when the person jumping on it isn't offering anything new. They're not offering anything challenging or from a different perspective. They're just merely repeating what's been said time and time again. I think a good example of that is a Teen Titans Go bandwagon, which, while we're on the subject of that, I need to talk about something that's been happening these past few months. 2017 was the biggest year where both fans of Teen Titans Go and just people who were sick of the haters were the most vocal and criticized the constant whining of the show's existence. As a response to that, I've also heard people say that the anti-Teen Titans Go hate bandwagon is just as tedious as the initial bandwagon that they've been criticizing. Which I disagree. Teen Titans Go has been airing since 2013. And ever since then, people who have been hating on the show non-stop. The anti-Teen Titans Go hate bandwagon, as far as I know, has only been noticeably popularized this past year. Before that, most people who were annoyed by the hate train were people outside of the cartoon community. This isn't to say that the anti-Teen Titans Go hate trend isn't loud and a little bit obnoxious, it's just not the best comparison. Also, I will send a message to the people who are fans of Teen Titans Go, don't be condescending because I've been seeing that recently. By getting back on topic, when someone regurgitates the same opinions about something, let's say in a video, it doesn't necessarily make the video bad but it does make it a bit tiresome. Nevertheless, I would still never say that a person isn't allowed to address a popular topic. It's perfectly fine as long as the arguments and presentation are well handled and to avoid repetitiveness, try to offer a new perspective. Not to mention, if people didn't address popular topics, then everyone would just stick in their own little bubble of conversation. I encourage people to talk about unfamiliar and obscure shows, but I don't necessarily want them to avoid popular shows. I mean, it's popular for a reason. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye for now.